Hi, I'm Gail Miller from Aged Care Explained. Welcome to my Aged Care Myth Buster series. Today we're busting Aged Care Myth number 18 and it's that a retirement village will be a good stopgap measure just for a couple of years before I need to go into aged care. Please don't look at a retirement village as a short term answer to your issue. If you notice that things are starting to change for your parents, that they're starting to go downhill, if they start talking about going to a retirement village just for a couple of years, please don't let them do that. What they need to do is get as much in-home care as they possibly can just for this interim period before they potentially may need residential aged care. With retirement villages, I mean, all of their contracts are a bit different and I suggest you see a lawyer to get the contract sorted out or checked out. But there's a buy-in factor and generally there's a buy-out or a pay-out factor. Some of the contracts can be really, really tricky and the buy-out factor can actually be, be difficult to navigate. I actually have two friends both in the last 12 months have been dealing with this issue and it's been very, very tricky for them. Sometimes the retirement village doesn't see an urgency for selling the person's home very quickly. You've got a certain period of time to pay the final payment in a residential aged care home and until the final payment's made, you're actually paying quite a bit of interest every month. Sometimes that's the best strategy for your particular needs and this is why an aged care finance specialist is, is advisable. But if you have to wait a long time for the money to come through from the sale of the retirement village home, then you can be really pushing the boundaries about paying for the amount that you needed to pay in the aged care home. It's quite convoluted. So it's really important that if your folks have their heart set on going to a retirement village, that you see a lawyer, get them to look at the contract, get them to explain it to you, get them to work out the financials for the buy in and pay out aspects of it, or you may need an aged care financial planner to help you with this so that you know what you're up for and so that they can get the best type of residential aged care home accommodation that suits their needs. So I don't generally recommend a retirement village as a short term stopgap measure. If, you, if you're planning to be there for 10 years, that's a different saga. But particularly if people are starting to talk about this in their 80s, I, I just would not recommend it. I don't want people getting tricky surprises at the other end because they haven't done their homework first. So lawyers can help you with this. I sent a client to um, an estate planning lawyer uh, a few months ago to have their contract checked out because unbeknown to the family, mum had sold their house and had almost signed up for a retirement village that does that is attached to an aged care home. So that's handy. But fortunately, they, they came to see me in between time. And I said, look, really, I'd like a lawyer to see this contract. The lawyer that I recommend had a look through it and she said it was actually quite a good contract. But she actually added two extra clauses that are going to be a safeguard for this family. So I was really pleased that they actually took my advice and saw a lawyer. It's worthwhile spending the money on doing that because it could save you a lot of money later. So stay tuned and we'll bust aged care myth number 19 very shortly.